Hello and welcome to Motor News with me, Katie Neiman. Renault took the occasion of the 61st International Film Festival in Cannes and the Monaco Grand Prix to present its new Laguna Coupe. Equipped with four-wheel steering, the new 4.64 metre long coupe can accelerate to 100 kilometres per hour in less than seven seconds and is available with the new 3.5 litre V6 DCI engine delivering 240 horsepower. The Renault Laguna Coupe will be on display at the forthcoming Paris Motor Show. A new version of the crowd-pulling speedster-style Audi TT Club Sport Quattro show car makes its debut this month at the Vertice Tour in Austria. The latest generation of the car that caused such a sensation bears slightly more resemblance to the road-going TT models, but its classic speedster inspiration is still very much in evidence, as is the extra special 300 PS version of the 2.0-litre turbo FSI petrol engine. The show car's A pillars are nearly invisible, making the continuous window strip appear to be a single casting. Two humps behind the passenger compartment further emphasise the speedster theme. Mounted in front of the humps are two massive rollover bars, which together with the strong A pillars protect the driver and passenger if the car should roll over. Motor News understands production of this model has not been ruled out. Rolls-Royce Motorcars revealed the first design sketches of the RR4. Smaller than the Phantom and powered by a new engine unique to Rolls-Royce, the RR4 is due to be launched in 2010. The RR4 has a more informal presence than the Phantom models with a greater emphasis on driving. Further details will be announced during the course of 2009. BMW Group organised the longest Hydrogen 7 convoy in Munich to demonstrate the car's sustainable mobility. With its unique dual-powered engine, the driver of a Hydrogen 7 can switch quickly and conveniently from hydrogen to conventional petrol power at the press of a steering wheel mounted button. The dual power technology means the car has a cruising range in excess of 125 miles in the hydrogen mode, with a further 300 miles under petrol power. In hydrogen mode, the car emits nothing more than water vapour. Braking wind, burping and fiddling with the volume controls on the car radio are among the top annoying habits of male backseat drivers. A poll by the car insurance retailer Swinton suggests that male passengers adopt a raft of pester tactics to bully the driver to compensate for the fact that they've been removed from the dominant role of controlling a car. Even men think men make bad passengers, with 43% of those polled saying that male passengers always advise the driver to use a different route or road, while 33% want to change the music. 84% cannot resist fiddling with the air conditioning and 46% are unable to resist commenting on the speed of the car. That's it for this edition. See you next time on Motor News.